Hello everyone, it's Greg again, here at the Museum of the Coastal Bend. I'm here today to tell you how to use this map making, orienteering, find your way spring break kit. So, what I'm going to do now is let you know what should be inside this, then I'm going to head outside and we're going to get this thing started. Now in your kit, you're going to find your own set of colored map pencils. You're going to find your own compass. You're going to find a piece of graph paper that you're going to do your map on. We've also included a little extra surprise in there for you. And this is what we're going to head outside and work towards completing. So grab all your stuff, head outside, and let's do this. Victoria? So we've made it outside, and the first thing that you're going to need to do to get started is pull out your compass. You might also want to get your piece of paper onto a clipboard or a writing surface so it's easier to write as you're developing your map. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out your compass and find true north and create a compass rose on your map. So the first thing you'll do is pull out your compass, orient it to true north, and on your map, you're gonna draw a compass rose so everybody understands your directions. Sorry, we got a little wind out here today, so it's making things kind of tough. So let's get that compass rose drawn, and then we'll start making our map, all right? Now that I have my compass rose drawn, I'm going to pick my starting point from my map, which is going to be the front doors of the museum. So I'm going to start at the front doors of the museum, and I am now heading south, facing south according to my compass rose. So I am going to pace off, as you can see, from the museum to our emblem of La Bahia we have on the concrete is 10 paces. So basically, all that I've done is walk 10 paces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just take regular foot, footsteps. Doesn't have to be huge paces, doesn't have to be heel to toe paces, just take regular footsteps. Write that down, make a picture. I've made a picture of the emblem here on my map and now I'm walking 10 more paces to the south to reach the bench. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten paces to my bench. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. All you're going to want to do for your backyard or wherever you've decided to make your map is draw that compass rose first. Once that compass rose is drawn, then you begin to pick landmarks in your backyard or wherever you're mapping and paste those distances off, counting them in your head and noting them on your map. Now, once you've finished your map of your backyard, you're going to want to draw your landmarks using your map colors, your map pencils. Okay? Once you've finished your map, share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Take a picture of it and send it to me at gregory.garrett at victoriacollege.edu. We'd love to share it on Facebook. What's even cooler is if you hand off that map and get your parents to do a treasure hunt or your friends to do a treasure hunt using that map in your backyard or wherever it is that you've drawn your map of. So use your imagination once your map is built. But be creative. Get outside. Have fun and learn. Happy spring break, everybody. I hope you enjoy the kit.